I guess I'm curious, at what point was there a shift in your thinking where you said, you know, there's a, I remember reading your, your original book and you deal with a lot on that presupposition of naturalism. Yeah. At what point did that switch flip to where you said, okay, this is a strange territory to enter into, but I'm going to actually consider the supernatural. Well, I'm always trying to think of counterexamples, right? Because your defense team is going to offer a counterexample, a story that what they want the jury to, to believe. So I always will say, okay, let's just for sake of argument, let's assume that their counter example is true. It still wouldn't make the case. And that's just this approach I take with juries to show them that really, even if their stuff was, if, if everything they said was true, he'd still be guilty. And that's what we're trying to do here too. Well, it turns out that you're right. It's a presuppositions. We typically will pick a jury. We don't just let anyone who's walking off the street and sit on a jury panel. We have a voir dire process. And that voir dire process is designed to eliminate people who have a bias against one side or the other. It's not just the prosecution that feels this way. The defense team feels the same way. Yeah. So it's presuppositional biases that will destroy good uh, decision making, will destroy good verdict rendering. So what we're trying to do is make sure there aren't any presuppositional biases. So how do we do that? Well, a lot of it is here. I had a presuppositional bias bias against, against the supernatural. I didn't believe that miracles were possible, even though I did believe that Big Bang uh, cosmology was true. Right, right. I believe that the universe came into existence from nothing. All space, time, and matter did not is not eternally old. It's not mm -hmm. infinitely old. It has a beginning. The right. science tells us this. I think that that's still the, that is still the standard cosmological model amongst physicists, is that the universe came into being from nothing. Right. There was no space before space, time before time, matter before matter. Yeah. Well, that means you're looking for a cause that's outside of space, time, and matter. If that cause is personal, then the most extravagant miracle in the history of miracles is not on the pages of the New Testament. It's Genesis 1, everything from nothing. Right. If there's yeah. a being out there that can do everything from nothing, well, then why would you doubt the small potato miracles we find on the pages of the New Testament? So mm -hmm. I already accepted that there was something extra natural, supranatural at work in the universe. And many people have, as a matter of fact, in the new book, Person of Intro, I talk about how really a very small percentage of people on planet earth are agnostic or atheist. Yeah. Uh, the vast majority of us believe there is some kind of higher power right. because we believe something has to cause the created order, the design features we see in our created world. Now, I will tell you, though, this is a thought experiment. We talked about how, hey, even I told the, the defense team is it's true, he's still guilty. Well, look at it this way. This is give you a thought experiment. If there's lots of skeptics who doubt the historicity of the Gospels, they doubt the claims of the Gospels. They doubt that, that Jesus is who he said he was. They don't want to trust the manuscript evidence we have for Jesus of Nazareth. Now, I'll tell you this. If, if you removed, if there was no claim in any ancient document in the New Testament, claiming that Jesus was in any way supernatural. In other words, if all the claims of the Gospels were simply that Je Jesus was a, an ancient Jewish rabbi yeah. who said preached some good sermons, that's it, like any other rabbi who preceded him and followed yeah. him. Yeah. Well, do you think that anyone, given our manuscript evidence, would doubt the historicity and the claims about the teaching of Jesus? I doubt that would ever be the case. He right. would be the best attested ancient teacher in the history of ancient teachers. And everyone would accept Jesus as a historical figure. But you add miracles to the accounts. And now everyone thinks he cannot be trusted. Nothing can be trusted. Well, what does that tell you? It, it really has less to do with the strength of manuscript evidence yeah. as it does with the presuppositional bias against anything miraculous. So you at least know where the rub is yeah. to claim it's about the manuscript evidence when in fact you would accept all of this as trustworthy if not for the miracles yeah. tells me it's not about the manuscripts at all. Right.